guys, it's me Joyce and you're watching Joyce IRL. That was delicious! In the news today, a possible remake of the Zelda title, what you won't be getting with a used Saints Row 3, and a really silly hat, if you must, in Team Fortress 2. Typically, I don't go for stories that talk about something that's a possibility or something that might be coming out, but today I veered toward that kind of story because it has something to do with what I think people might be interested in, and that is a Zelda remake. Nintendo was really successful with the Ocarina of Time 3D remake, so it kind of makes sense for them to think about another major Zelda title remade in 3D as well. The producer of Skyward Sword said he wants to take a game like A Link to the Past that has lots of levels, lots of in-depth levels, and then turn it into a 3D game so that people have a really good sense of the levels. Nintendo's remakes have proven to be pretty good, but I can't help but think, well, why can't they make something new instead of just remaking these really awesome games? But I feel like when this comes out, or if it comes out, it'll really be a good way to amp up sales for their consoles, especially for the 3DS, since it obviously will be in 3D. But like I said, this is one of those articles that talks about a maybe or a possibility because in an interview with the producer, he just said that it's something to think about, it's an interesting thing to work on, so we'll see what turns out in the future. If you're looking forward to Saints Row 3 but you're not going to buy it until later on when it's used, you might want to think again because that way you won't be getting a key or a code to play online in the co-op missions. Saints Row 3 will be using an online pass system that only allows people who originally buy the game or people who buy a code to play in online co-op. I guess they're doing this to limit the number of used game sales for this game because the publishers obviously don't make money off of that stuff. Eh, I guess it's nice to know they're not whoring themselves around. Oh god, I'm so funny. I had to throw in some valve news today. Now there's a new item in the Steam Workshop that you can put on your Team Fortress 2 class's head. It's not a hat per se, it is a turkey. It looks so wrong, but it makes me laugh. Apparently this turkey head was inspired by an old Mr. Bean episode where Mr. Bean gets a turkey lodged on top of his head. As much as I love the old Mr. Bean shows, the first thing that came to my head when I saw the images of the Team Fortress 2 turkey heads was the Friends episode where Joey and Monica put a turkey on their head, ew. I understand the appeal of hats, I really do. Or at least the appeal of giant turkeys on your head, but there are lots of really cool items in the Steam Workshop. You should check them out. All right, all my friends and sub buds, thank you so much for watching. That's gonna be it for my show today. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And also go ahead and follow me on Twitter or like my Facebook page if you're interested. Go ahead and check those out. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.